In a combat zone, you are constantly vulnerable to enemy fire. A shot rings out and cracks past your ear. You have just a heartbeat to react before the gunman takes another shot. You have the firepower to hit back, but in the heat of the situation, you have no idea where the shot came from. A second shot could give away the shooter's position, or it could end your life. In a combat zone, one of the most dangerous things you'll ever have to do is just get from point A to point B. And for drivers of Humvees, well, ambushes can take place almost anywhere. And in that situation, all you really want to know is one thing. Where are the rounds coming from? Believe it or not, the technology to do just that already exists. In fact, it's currently being deployed in Afghanistan and Iraq. It's an automatic sniper detection system, and its name is Boomerang. The technology was first developed by scientists and engineers from DARPA. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Now the project is in the hands of BBN Technologies, and I've been invited to their headquarters in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Basically, the boomerang is a cluster of seven microphones mounted on a mast and attached to the vehicle. These listen for a gunshot, and the computer crunches the numbers to find out where it came from. Sounds simple, right? Well, the idea might be, but the highly sophisticated computer processing behind it certainly isn't. Program manager David Schmidt supervised the boomerang project. So explain to me, how does boomerang work? Well, basically what happens is when a round goes past, a bullet goes past the array, we listen for the, we listen for the shock wave of the bullet. And then we listen for the muzzle blast of the gun that fired that round. And from that information and from the various signal processing algorithms that we have in the, in the systems, we're able to tell you the azimuth or the o'clock position of the shooter, the range to the shooter, and the elevation of the shooter relative to the system. An algorithm is a mathematical formula used to process the various audio signals. The shockwave is a special kind of sound wave. The man who calculated the algorithms is internationally renowned acoustics expert James Barger. I wrote down the equations that would describe the time it would take for a bullet to leave the muzzle and for the shockwave to reach a microphone. The difference of arrival time between pairs of microphones that we measure can be solved backwards to locate exactly where the shooter is, and also the angle and the elevation of the shot. But war is a noisy business. Can this system really cope better than your own ears against the hectic soundscape of an urban battle? If you're in an urban environment, uh, it's very difficult to discern where the, where the shot is coming from. It's crowded, it's noisy. The system works very well in that type of environment. Not only can the boomerang pick out just the sound of a supersonic bullet from the background noise, but to save a soldier's life in the midst of all that chaos, it also needs to be able to get his attention. The first thing we do is we give him an audible cue. Shot, two o'clock, 120 meters. So it's just like their buddy telling them where the shooter is. 120 meters. When the soldier hears the warning signal, he can look at the simple display screen to instantly get a more detailed breakdown of the shooter's location. Shot, two o'clock. What you see here is a rosette corresponding to the positions of a clock, one, two, three, four o'clock, and it'll light up um, an LED for whichever direction the shot comes from. What kind of reaction time are we looking at? The second after the bullet goes by, we've already calculated, we've already figured out where that shooter is, and then we take a little bit of time to tell you where, where he is. So anywhere between a second and a second and a half, we tell you where that shooter is. Now the soldier under fire no longer has to make a guess or wait for another shot. He instantly knows where the shot came from and can respond immediately. It can even perform this neat little trick on a vehicle that's driving up to 60 miles an hour. The system is accurate with shots taken up to a quarter of a mile away. That's clever enough, 
But what's even more amazing is that this system will never be triggered by any sound similar to a gunshot, like a firework or a car backfiring. A shooting uh, uh, counter sniper system, counter shooter system, isn't any good to the occupants of a vehicle if every two minutes it's crying wolf. I mean, they're just going to turn it off. Okay, so you want it to only go off when it really matters. When the first batch of boomerangs was delivered in Iraq early in 2004, that concept had progressed from an idea on a sheet of paper to a fully working system in just 68 days. To see how it works in a live situation, I'm going to play the role of a sniper trying to take out a passing vehicle. I'm coming up on a clearing over here, and a Humvee is going to be traveling through. I'm going to find the perfect position to catch him by surprise. This may not be the perfect position, but there's enough cover and concealment here that I should catch the Humvee as it moves through this open area. Inside the Humvee, the guys wouldn't be expecting my shot, and with all that engine noise and no visual clues to help them, there's no way they could locate me quickly without the boomerang. I'm ready to fire. If all goes according to plan, the instant the supersonic shockwave from my round passes within 30 meters of the boomerang, the system will detect the bullet, start processing where it came from, and alert the soldiers inside. Shot, two o'clock, 120 meters. Boom. Without the boomerang, I could have easily hit that Humvee with five or six rounds before they could find me. With it, my cover's been blown one second after my first shot. Why is this so mission critical? Well, anytime you come under fire, you want to be able to get out of the way, take cover, and save your life first. And given a second, second and a half warning, that's exactly what happens. We're able to save lives with this system. And so after that, then they're able to react and deal with the threat, whether it's to go take them out, whether it's to capture them, whatever. They're able to do that because now they know where that shooter is. And when you're on the receiving end of that first round, you don't want to wait around for the sniper's second shot. Shot, 2 o'clock, 120 meters. With Boomerang, it's like having a buddy in the vehicle with you who instantly knows where the contact is coming from. And that'll make all the difference in making the right decision and doing the thing that will save your life.